girls, Ms. Miner here. Today, we are going to learn how to draw a tree. Now, I kept wanted to do this outside, but my neighbors have decided it is the perfect time to mow their lawn, so it's a little too loud. So, can't do that. But you could always go draw outside, looking at a tree as we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you the basics, but you can adapt it for any tree that you wanna look at. So let's get started. All right, so today you are gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and then something to color your picture with, whether it's paint or markers or crayons. Okay, up to you. Okay, so first off, we need some ground for our tree to grow from. So we're gonna draw a line across the bottom of our paper. You can see that I also have my paper vertical so we have enough room for the tree. Okay, so the first step is I'm gonna draw a single line for my trunk. Now I know it's gonna be thicker than this, but this is just a base. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna turn this into the letter Y. Okay, doesn't have to be perfectly even. Okay, now the ends, I am also going to turn into another Y. Okay, so it lies here, lies there. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing to the ends again. And right here. Okay, so now I've wide every intersection. Now I want to start building up my trunk a little bit. So I'm gonna go on either side of my trunk. Now remember, the closer it is to the ground, the thicker it is, okay? And once we go up top here, we're gonna add some more branches and it's just gonna be more of the same. You have a branch come out, Y at the end. And you know, you can have this little bit here sticking out, that's fine. And they don't all have to be, you know, perfectly straight branches. You can practice with some curving too. Now, you're not gonna be able to draw every single branch of a tree, but we're gonna get the structure there. And then we're gonna start going around and making these branches a little thicker because, like I said before, they're not the pencil width until you get like here. Okay, so got my structure. I'm gonna start going around my branches, making them a little bit thicker, making them a little less straight. Now it should always be the thinnest at the end of a branch. So don't have it thicker out here and thinner here. My branches and Ying at the end. And it's a-okay if your tree goes off the page, that's fine. All right, so once you've gotten your branches thickened up, you can erase some of those lines in the middle to clean it up a little bit. All right, once you're done with your tree drawing, I'm gonna ask you to find something that we can use to create a texture in your tree. So some things that I found, uh, this is a scrap of plastic canvas. Uh, I've got these netting. 
things here. Um, even a piece of cardboard with the top layer taken off so you can see the corrugated part. Or if you can find a piece of bark that's fallen off the tree, there you go. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your textured object and you're gonna put it underneath your drawing. And you wanna find a variety of light browns or grays or creamy colors for your tree. And you wanna start with a lighter color. And just kind of put it on its side. And you don't want that color everywhere. So you just want to put some here, some there. Keep moving it around. Okay, it's better if you kind of use the crayon on its side. If you uh, don't have crayons, you can always paint the tree just brown, trying to create some textures with your paintbrush. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna switch, switch materials here. I'm gonna try my cardboard piece. And I'm gonna get a slightly darker color. Sorry about the camera shake. I'm gonna try and minimize that. Rub and get a little more texture. Now, as I'm gonna move up to those other branches. Okay, so you can really layer your colors. to the smaller branches you can just you know fill those in but you want to do this with a couple of different things and a few different colors to really get that nice layered bark look I'm gonna do some down here too get some nice texture going now, this is not texture you'll be able to feel. It's texture you're only gonna be able to see, so that's called implied texture. So there I've got some nice texture, and I can just go back in and kind of layer the color on those skinny parts. You won't be able to do a rubbing there. or some leaves to the tree, whatever you would like. So I am going to do some blossoms and I'm gonna get a Q-tip and my tempera paint. If you don't have uh, any tempera paint, you could try watercolor. You could also do your little dots in marker. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it from the cap and going to take that q-tip and I am going to you know put some of the dots right over top of my branches get some of this color put in there too this peachy color and you can layer it right over top of 
some of the other dots. I'm gonna go back and get some of that darker pink. You can even get some white, add on top of there. of a natural look get that white in there mixing in with the pinks if you've got a blob anywhere like I got just go back over there pick up some of the paint move it to somewhere else Same thing I get there get another blob just keep tapping it out And the thing I always forget, protect your surface. I'm in my studio, so like my tables are made for this, but you're at your house. So make sure you put some newspaper under your picture when you're painting. And you're just gonna continue adding your dots of paint until you're satisfied with your blossoms. Or if you don't wanna do a blooming tree, just use shades of green your leaves so you can start to expand it out a little bit beyond some of the branches finished tree and all its beautiful blossoms and great implied texture on the trunk. Remember implied texture you can see but you can't feel. <clears throat> all right uh, like I said before you don't have to have a blossoming tree you could just do leaves several different shades of green will work. If you don't have paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons, adapt it for anything that you have on hand. And once you're done, make sure you snap a picture and send it to me in Dojo. I cannot wait to see them. Your work is always, always so wonderful. All right, boys and girls, I will talk to you again soon.